Welcome back to the plot twist. In today's episode, we're diving deep into one of the most controversial and pivotal moments in Game of Thrones, Daenerys Targaryen's first night with Khal Drogo. Whether you're a book reader or just a fan of the show, this scene is likely burned into your memory. But the way it's portrayed in George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire is a far cry from the dark, disturbing version we see on TV. Today, we're going to break down the differences, compare the two, and explore how these changes dramatically shift the dynamic of Daenerys and Drogo's relationship. Let's start by setting the scene. In both the book and the show, Daenerys is a young girl thrust into an arranged marriage with Khal Drogo, a powerful and fearsome Dothraki warlord. In the HBO series, this moment is marked by fear, dominance, and brutality, but in George R. R. Martin's books, it's handled with far more nuance and care. In A Game of Thrones, Daenerys' wedding night with Drogo is portrayed in a surprisingly tender and patient manner. She's nervous and fearful, yes, but Drogo's actions are calm, slow, and gentle. The scene emphasizes Drogo's respect for her boundaries. He asks for her consent, repeatedly using the word no, before proceeding, giving Daenerys the space to decide when she is ready. Drogo touches her lightly, gradually gaining her trust, and there's a slow build-up to her final acceptance of their physical relationship. He cupped her face in his huge hands and she looked into his eyes. No, he said, and she knew it was a question. The description here is key. While Daenerys begins the night afraid, she is given control over the moment when things move forward. Drogo's gentle approach sets the foundation for what, in the books, becomes a more nuanced relationship based on mutual respect. Now, let's contrast this with the Game of Thrones series. In the TV version, we get a vastly different portrayal. The wedding night becomes an entirely one-sided event. Drogo strips Daenerys, and despite her obvious distress, he proceeds without hesitation. The show strips away the tenderness of the book, and instead, we witness an act of force and domination. The emotional tone is night and day. What was a moment of gradual trust building in the book becomes an assault in the show. The key difference here is the lack of consent in the TV version. Drogo doesn't ask for her permission, he simply takes what he wants. This creates a dynamic where Daenerys is victimized from the start, casting Drogo as a much darker character. The decision to portray their wedding night in this way shapes not just their relationship, but how viewers perceive both Drogo and Daenerys going forward. The portrayal of this scene is crucial for understanding Daenerys' character arc. In the books, Daenerys' relationship with Drogo starts off as something she's unsure of, but she gradually grows into someone who finds strength in that relationship. The book allows us to see Daenerys developing agency and confidence, beginning with the way Drogo treats her on their wedding night. In the book, Daenerys starts as a frightened young girl, but Drogo's patience on their wedding night becomes a pivotal moment in her gaining power. Over time, she not only accepts her role as his wife, but also starts to embrace her identity as Khaleesi. The relationship becomes a foundation for her growth, she learns Dothraki customs, starts asserting herself, and slowly moves from being a passive player in her own life to an active, powerful force. Drogo respects her, and this respect forms the basis of a mutual relationship where Daenerys grows. When the sun rises in the west and sets in the east, Daenerys had whispered, tears streaming down her cheeks. When the seas go dry and the mountains blow in the wind like leaves. In these small moments of trust, Daenerys begins to gain control over her fate. Contrast that with the show, where Daenerys begins as a victim. Her first night with Drogo is not one of mutual respect, but one of subjugation and fear. This creates a much more traumatic beginning for her. Instead of the gradual building of a relationship, we see Daenerys forced into submission. The show accelerates her need to take control, not out of trust, but out of survival. Her path to empowerment is driven more by her need to escape the horror of her initial victimization. This shift fundamentally changes the nature of Daenerys' character. The Daenerys of the show is pushed into a position of power not through a mutual relationship with Drogo, but as a reaction to his dominance. While she eventually becomes the strong, empowered Khaleesi we all know, the route she takes in the show is much darker and more painful than in the books. In the series, her rise is portrayed as a rebellion against oppression, while in the books, it's more of a journey of self-discovery. Another critical element we need to examine is how these two portrayals affect our understanding of Dothraki culture. 
In the books, the Dothraki are shown to be fierce and warlike, yes, but also deeply connected to their traditions and capable of deep respect and loyalty. Drogo, as their leader, embodies this balance between brutality and tenderness. His care for Daenerys allows the readers to see a different side of him, he's not just a savage, but a complex character capable of love and gentleness. The series, however, strips away much of that complexity. In the show, the Dothraki are depicted in a more one-dimensional way, emphasizing their a barbaric nature, and this first night between Drogo and Daenerys reinforces those stereotypes. Drogo is shown as nothing more than a powerful brute, and the cultural nuances that we see in the books are lost. This change doesn't just affect how we see Drogo and Daenerys' relationship, it impacts how we understand Dothraki culture as a whole. The TV series leans into the idea of the Dothraki as a savage, foreign other, removing the layers of humanity and tradition that George R. R. Martin built into their society. This has real consequences for how we empathize with or understand Drogo as a character. Finally, let's talk about how these differences impact the long-term dynamic between Drogo and Daenerys. In the books, their relationship grows into something deeper. Daenerys' early fear evolves into love and trust, and Drogo becomes a partner who empowers her. This bond is essential for her eventual transformation into the Mother of Dragons. Their connection is built on mutual respect, and Drogo becomes an integral part of Daenerys' journey to becoming a queen. But in the show, that connection is much harder to believe. The violent nature of their first night creates a rift between them, and it takes longer for the audience to accept that Daenerys could come to love Drogo. While the series does eventually show Daenerys growing stronger, the tenderness and mutual understanding that is so central to their relationship in the books never fully translates on screen. In the end, this difference reshapes the way we see their love story. In the books, Drogo's gentleness is part of what makes Daenerys' eventual loss of him so devastating, he wasn't just a warlord, but her protector and partner. In the show, that bond feels more forced, less genuine, and it alters how we perceive Daenerys' growth post-Drogo. In conclusion, the differences between Daenerys and Drogo's first night in the books and the show are striking and transformative. The books give us a scene of careful trust building and mutual respect, while the show turns it into a much darker, more traumatic event. These changes affect not only how we perceive Drogo as a character but also how we understand Daenerys' journey and the cultural context of the Dothraki. So, which version do you think works better? Do you prefer the more nuanced, complex relationship in the books, or do you think the show's portrayal adds necessary drama to Daenerys' rise to power? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in to the plot twist. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the world of Game of Thrones and A Song of Ice and Fire. See you next time.